The process really starts when we first open the truck door and evaluate how the customer's product has arrived. So we're gonna take some initial evaluation, some notes, some pictures, and document how it arrives. And from that point forward, we move the loads into the solution center. Once we get the loads in the solution center, we begin our measurement process to really baseline the condition of the load. We're gonna do things like measure containment force, measure the current lean of the load, how many revolutions of film were applied, up, top, down, and bottom, ounces of film, pre-stretch values. All of that information is gathered with the idea that we will then recreate that current condition on our wrapper here in the lab. So if they can see that our equipment can recreate the failure that they are getting pictures and complaints of, then they feel more confident that our solution can be validated for success. So the first test that we do after we create the current wrap is we're gonna sled it. It's really the more severe of the two tests and it's a good early indicator of how close we are to replicating the damage that the customer sees in the field. Once we're confident that we've replicated the current condition to a T, we'll begin working on the optimization. So that process is a little bit harder to do, obviously, and it involves a lot of back and forth between optimization and testing. We'll continue that process until we feel like we've created a solution which will survive the full transit test. Once we feel confident that we have recreated the customer's pattern and we are seeing the same type of failure that they see, and we feel confident that we've created an optimized solution, that's when we'll load it on the multi-degree of freedom table. The table is a three hour long test and it's really going to put the stress of transit on that load and allow us to evaluate exactly how it performs under a multitude of conditions. Once we generate that solution and we feel extremely confident that it's going to help our customers eliminate brake damage and loss, it's time to execute that solution in the field. Our technicians will go out and they will modify the equipment and they will make it perform as our machine in the lab does. From that point, we encourage our customers to install the bus monitoring system because the data we gather will help them ensure that their loads are fit to ship each and every time.